things in working order and clean and clean is a great way to save money. It's a great way to save the environment because things are ending up dying and going in the landfill. Um, and again, it just saves money too, which is a very frugal thing. You extend the life of your products by a whole heck of a lot if you actually do maintenance on them, cleaning, um, and or just getting them repaired. Um, so I like to clean my fans specifically because they tend to get very dusty and dirty and I have killed one fan because I didn't clean it out. Um, I tried to fix it once it was pretty much dead and that didn't work. So now I try to regularly dust out and clean out my fans. Um, there's a bunch of other things that you can and should be doing maintenance on in your house as well or that you own depends on what you own um, but I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm doing on my fan to clean it up and kind of give you that nice yes it's all clean um, see all that dust and dirt and get to a really really clean place um, again I'm gonna use various dusting tools my vacuum will probably be the first thing I use to try and get the big chunks and then compressed air um, compressed air I have found to be a great way to get into those tiny nooks and crannies that especially things that you can't get wet and you can't you know really get up in there anywhere else um, even if it's something you can take apart sometimes compressed air is really good or if it's something you can't take apart even better um, this really helps get things clean and extend their life I know it's you know it's a compressed product it's it's got it's got some potentially harmful environmental effects in certain ways but it's also a great way to keep this giant fan and all of the chemicals that went into making him out of the landfill and having to be reproduced so it's worth it in my brain um but again enough of me talking and let's get on to cleaning this bad boy expecting it was a lot dirtier than I was expecting like I am sort of like covered in dust on my knees and stuff um this rag which was one of my own ones not too bad on that side but this side's pretty pretty dirty um and then my vacuum which was clean before this. I used it briefly in my room. 
on one corner, but there wasn't really anything too much to clean up. All of that was pretty much in that vacuum, which is not in that vacuum, was in that fan. That was all in that fan, um, which is pretty gross. Um, so it's a good thing it was done because that can definitely affect how well it's working. Um, now hopefully it'll last for quite a lot, lot longer and work well without blowing around in dust and keep it just working great. Um, it was really disgusting and now it's pretty much brand new. I'll maybe show you a quick video of what it looks like now. Um, but all of that dust and even dust I didn't know existed is gone. So it's clean and it's working and it will save me money because it won't die as quickly, hopefully. I mean, I can't control when it's gonna die, but it won't have to work as hard. Things won't get caught up in the motor. The, the air input that the motor needs is not gonna get, it's not gonna get clogged as quickly because we've cleaned that out now, so. So fresh and so clean. There's the front. And look at that back, look at that comparison. So much better. So much. Plus all that stuff on the inside that you didn't really get to see before. Just couldn't see it.